dispense with the coffin. Prepare this room for the coalescence. Behold, the memory weave is ready. Soon it will be active. Deliver the women into our wings. And not even the doctor will be able to stop the crusade of the Shan Shiv. There. And there. Did it hurt? No. I mean, the regeneration. That last body of yours. Was he okay in the end? He always hurts, and there. Uh... So, how did you end up in this place? Uh, the Shan Sheath lured me. A mighty old battlefield just begging to be explored. Because I'm traveling with Amy now, and Rory. They got married, so I dropped them off at a honeymoon planet, which isn't what you think. It's not a planet for a honeymoon, it's a planet on a honeymoon. It married an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> then they nicked the TARDIS. The Shan Sheath, not Amy and. Uh... Fortunately, I had all this wreckage to build the space swapping doodah thing in the what's it. So you've got a married couple in the TARDIS? Mr. and Mrs. Pom. <laughs> I only left you because I got married. And. Uh... Did you think I was stupid? Why do you say that? Well, I was a bit dumb. <laughs> Still am, I suppose. Now, what in the world would make you think that ever, ever, ever? We'd been traveling down the Amazon for months, and we reached a village in Cristalino, and it was the only place in thousands of miles that had a telephone. So I called you. I, I just wanted to say hello, and they told me that you'd left. Left unit. Never came back. So I waited. I waited, because you said you'd see me again. You did. I asked you, and you said yes. You promised. So I thought, oh, one day, I'd hear that sound. Deep in the jungle, I'd hear that funny wheezing noise and a big blue box right in the middle of the rainforest. Because he, he wouldn't just leave. Not forever. <laughs> I've waited my whole silly life. Oh, but you're an idiot. <laughs> well, there we have it. No, 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 but don't you see? How could I ever find you? You've spent the past 40 years living in huts, climbing up trees, tearing down barricades. You've done everything from flying kites on Kilimanjaro to sailing down the Anxi in a tea chest. Not even TARDIS could pin you down. Hold on. I did sail down the Yancey in a tea chest. How did you know? That family. Seven kids, 12 grandchildren, 13th on his way. He's dyslexic, but that'll be fine. Great swimmer. So you've been watching me all this time? No. Because you're right, I don't look back, I can't. But the last time I was dying, I looked back on all of you, every single one. And I was so proud. It really is you. Isn't it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, but we've got that lock bag at home with the Shanxi. Yes, yes, and uh, I still need you, Joe. Now, that bag of yours, I can smell black currant. Is it buka oil? Hand-picked in Mozambique. Oh, perfect. These circuits need connectivity. Wonderful little tiddly draw. <laughs> That's it. What a team. <laughs>